Well, today we're reviewing a watch that is special in more ways than one. Not only does it have what is probably the most original dial design I have seen, with these applied pips that mimic the exoskeleton of a sea urchin, but also the fact the brand actually comes from my country, Croatia. The founder comes from the island of Brač and is a watch lover and collector, like me, but unlike me, he had the guts to try and create his own brand. The third special thing is personal to me and can be seen at the 6 o'clock part of the dial. Each model in their lineup has coordinates of a famous landmark in Croatia, with this one having the coordinates of Zlatnirat beach that is located on the same island the founder is from. For me it is special because that is where I proposed my wife, as you might know if you watched the unboxing. The brand currently has three models in their lineup all of which share the same sea urchin theme on the dial, with slight variations. The case styles, sizes and water resistance are all different, with this one, called Seascape, sitting exactly in the middle, both size and water resistance wise. At 41mm in diameter and 48mm lug to lug, it has pretty much perfect proportions for any size wrist with this reversed variant with a white inner bezel, wearing visually smaller than the all-black model. I also find it better looking because of that contrasting bezel. The case is all brushed, which should help hide scratches from everyday wear, and slightly on the chunky side. But the 14.7mm thickness includes a domed sapphire and also the raised case back center. In reality, it wears like a 13mm watch, which still isn't slim, but it isn't as thick as numbers would suggest. Dial is a glossy black enamel with the already mentioned pips that do affect legibility. During the day, it is not a problem, as all the dots form clearly visible lines from the center outwards, but in the dark, the smaller ones pretty much disappear and the outer ones are barely visible by morning. It is quite the contrast to the very large and legible hands, that are long, beveled and well loomed. I'll give this lack of legibility a pass just because of the originality of the idea and the fact that the raised pips do look cool in person. In the pictures and renders of the watch, I disliked them completely, but upon holding the watch in my hands and when you move it around, it creates a very cool effect. The finish is pretty good, with a minimum of foreign material found, and only the inner smaller dots show uneven loom application. The twin crowns are large and easy to grip, with the upper one used for the inner bezel spinning freely, while the lower one used for time setting is a screw-in type. The bezel is friction only, as most of these super compressor styled watches, and is slightly too loose for my personal taste. It doesn't move accidentally, but I wish it had a firmer action. The Beaufort I reviewed has probably the best inner bezel action so far, and I wish this was closer to that. The watch is powered by a Swiss-made automatic Salita SW200 that beats at 28,800 BPH and has both hacking and hand winding. Given the specs and the movement used, it is priced accordingly at 699 euros, which is roughly $750. For that price, you also get an additional leather strap, although fine, I find the supplied rubber waffle strap pretty much perfect, even if it is on the long side. It hits the sweet spot of being supple and comfortable, while not being spongy and stretchy like so many silicone ones used today. Overall, the watch is a nice vintage style diver with a very original take on the dial and markers, which automatically gets respect from me. It is definitely a polarizing watch that you either love or hate, and it is one that you have to handle in person to truly appreciate, as I too was not impressed by the pictures, 
but now find the dial very interesting and overall the watch well executed. My review might be slightly biased, but I'm sure you'll forgive me that given it comes from my country and has the location of my marriage proposal on the dial. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and until the next video, bye.